One of first things you hear when you pass through the Krasnopilska military cemetery in eastern Ukraine is sound of crying. The cemetery outside city Dnipro is final resting place of many soldiers who on eastern front. Tetiana Sklyarova, crippled by the pain and handkerchiefs, sits next to the grave of her only son Sergi. H is gone, and I can't get used to him not being here. It's the pride of Ukraine. She tells ABC as she looks over the necropolis. That was the source of our happiness. Now we've lost them all. Tetiana Sklyarova tried to persuade her son not to join the army. For Tetiana and others whose relatives were killed in the war, this cemetery has become a place that represents the collective suffering of a nation. Everyone here knows each other now and we cry together. She says. Another grieving mother comes to Tetiana and hugs her. The two cling to each other. Groaning in pain and searching for words that can offer some solace. There are other mothers here. Too. The pain brought us closer. Now we know everything about each other and our children. She says. Sergi was killed near Zaporozhye on April 28. 2022. He worked justly. Then the war started. He came and said. Mom. I signed up. I'm going to join the army. I said to him. But we have everything. We lived well. And yet. I'm going to defend the fatherland. She said. Krasnopilska military cemetery is a sea of blue and yellow flags. Ultimate sacrifice Ukraine does not disclose official figures on how many of its soldiers were killed on the battlefield. But Krasnopilska Cemetery offers a snapshot of the damage this war has done to population. Hundreds of Ukrainian flags are waving in the wind, marking the graves of dead soldiers. Photos of loved ones adorn the tombstones. And elaborate wreaths are laid on the graves by soldiers paying tribute to their deceased comrades. Each cross tells the story of a personal tragedy. The scenery here is dominated by Ukraine's famous blue and yellow flags. As well as colors and emblems representing specific battalions. A sense of altruism is everywhere you look. Krasnopilska Military Cemetery now houses the pride of Ukraine. The soldiers in Ukraine are open-minded about what they are fighting for. They say they are defending their homeland. Democratic principles. The rule of law. The right to autonomy and a better future for their children. Photos above the graves show smiling soldiers proudly dressed in uniforms. These were people who did not belong to the Ukrainian armed forces 18 months ago. Before the invasion of Russian President Vladimir Putin. They led a peaceful life. Working as lawyers or workers. Teachers or IT specialists. They signed up to defend their country and made the ultimate sacrifice. The true cost of the war in Ukraine is on display at the Krasnopilska military cemetery. Russia should drown in these tears. Ivan Shevchenko was one of the thousands who did not hesitate to volunteer. The 38-year-old miner and C.